So are you familiar with how a digital compressor works? Well, if not, let me show you. They actually are quite simple. So what you see me behind here is your typical digital compressor, otherwise known as a variable capacity compressor or a VCC compressor. Basically, here's how it works. A typical scroll, the compression happens up here in the top. There are two plates which mesh together. When they're meshed together and compressing, they're doing work on the refrigerant. So what happens in a digital compressor is when you want to unload the compressor or vary the capacity, you lift the top plate from the bottom plate. So it'll go up and you won't be doing any compression. Then it'll go down and you'll be doing some work on the refrigerant. So how does that work? If you look right here, there's something called a suction pressure transducer. Okay, so that is measuring the suction pressure and converting that into a temperature, which is our control point. So if we're trying to reach 42 degree suction temperature, where it goes below that suction temperature, it's going to unload the compressor. If it goes, you know, starts going above that, we more, need more capacity, it's going to load the compressor. So it's going to change the variation of how we to mesh and unmesh the compressor plates is it breaks it up into 15 second increments. So 50% of the capacity, you're basically lifting the top plate for seven and a half seconds, putting it back down and compressing for the other seven and a half seconds. 